Well hello everybody, welcome to Chef's Baking Blog. Uh, this video is going to be for making pancakes for Pancake Day, Shrove Tuesday. Obviously I'm going to make them and eat them now before Shrove Tuesday, but it's to show people uh, how to do it if they want to make them on Pancake Day. And these pancakes are those thin flat ones which are traditional in England which then often have sugar sprinkled on them and lemon drizzled over them and then they're rolled up or folded into triangles to be eaten. And they're quite simple to make. So I go straight on to the ingredients. And for the pancakes I have 110 grams, which is two thirds of a cup plus one tablespoon of plain flour. That's based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup measure. I have uh, 200 millilitres, half a cup plus a third of a cup of milk. I have 75 millilitres, which is five tablespoons of water. I have 50 grams, which is three and a half tablespoons of butter, which I'm going to melt. And I have two large eggs, which would be extra large in the USA. And just for information, um, I'm, I measured these on my scale and out of the shell they weighed 115 grams and I've broken those eggs up just a little bit and just to show you I have lemons and sugar uh, and that's uh, as much as you need to taste basically so you, you decide how much sugar and how much lemon you want to put on your pancakes or if you want to put something like Nutella on them instead. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make the batter. So I'm going to pour my wet ingredients into the flour and then I'm going to mix them around until it's nice and smooth and there are no lumps in the batter. So I've mixed that and the, um, the flour is all dissolved into the wet liquid. I think it would have been easier if I'd added the liquid a little bit at a time. And I'm melting my butter in a frying pan um, which has a base which is about uh, 18 centimetres, just over 7 inches. And that's the pan I'm going to use for the pancakes. So as soon as that butter is melted, I'm going to pour two tablespoons of it into my batter. And it has melted now, so I'll get two tablespoons. And the remainder is going to go into a little bowl so that I can uh, dip a, a wadge of kitchen paper into it to wipe the uh, frying pan ready for the pancakes. So I'm actually just going to do that one time. So that's the size of my frying pan basically. That should be enough for these pancakes. And I'm going to put that onto a medium heat. I don't want to burn the, the butter while I just mix in the butter into the batter. like that and then it's a question of taking about 35 millilitres of batter 
which is this what this little ice cream scoop so between two and three tablespoons of uh, batter should be enough for a very thin pancake you can make them thicker if you want them to be thicker that would be fine and then I'm going to scoop my batter in and straight away I'm going to tip the sides of the pan to make sure that it spreads across it and if I have any holes I'm just going to fill them with a little bit of the batter and this will only take 30 seconds or so I think to colour the underside of the pancake and I will just lift it up a little bit to check the colour and then when it has coloured sufficiently I will turn it over And it will only take a few seconds to cook on the, the second side. And I'm then going to transfer that to a warm plate. And at that stage I grease the pan again and do the next one. So here are our pancakes um, and I've got, I think I've got 14 um, but I'm just going to uh, use two so I'm going to take one like that and I'm going to sprinkle some sugar on it, in fact I'll only do one, like that and then I'm just going to drizzle, you you would squeeze the, the lemons normally I think but um, I'm just going to sprinkle some juice on it I do too in fact because you can unfold that and fold it like that and sprinkle a little bit more sugar on now I kept these warm on a warm plate as I was making them so I'll take another one Sprinkle some sugar over like that, a little bit of lemon juice on it like that, as much or as little as you want really. And then with this one I'm just simply going to roll it up 
and that's how I used to have them as a child. A little bit of sugar on the top and then simply eat it. So I'll have a taste. Mm. I haven't had pancakes for years and years and years um, but this certainly brings back the memories. That is very very good. I don't know why I don't make them every year but I haven't. This is the first time I've ever actually made them but they taste so good. So this is another simple recipe and as I said it is usually done on Shrove Tuesday pancake day and you can put whatever you want on them if you want raspberry sauce, Nutella, whatever. Sugar and lemon seems to be traditional and that's the way I like it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for this recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe and that will actually be for scotch pancakes in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.